Dear students, welcome back to our tutorials with Puncher Assembly project. We have a simple Puncher device with many parts. In previous videos, we finished our base, tightening piece, pressing, hand, and our shaft. Let's go back to our detailed drawing here and see what else we have. We have two standard parts here. We don't need to draw them, the spring and the bolt. But we have here our guide bush. If we look to our guide bush, and remember our previous tutorial, previous video, we can draw this guide bush using a shaft tool. We have outside cylindrical parts and inside contour. Outside contour and inside contour. So let's go and see. Here we are on the content still. I will take my shaft generator. This is will be as we name it as guide bush. Okay, so I'll name it as guide bush. Sorry, guide bush, enter, and I'll set my center line from up to down. And as usual, we'll start with outer contour and first part of our shaft. First part of our shaft is the, the diameter outside diameter is 54, and the distance is 40. So we usually give the distance first and the diameter how much we said 54 okay 54 and this is my first part i'll go back again to cylindrical and check my dimensions the other part that i have it the distance is 48 and the diameter is 50 so 48 by 50 48 enter the diameter is 50 here is my second part I'll go and check my uh, I have a thread at the end with 18 length and M50 by 1.5 so as we learned in our last video we can take a thread here isometric the length of it is how much 18 this is my length 18 and the size is m50 by 0.5 i'll go and check my table here 50 50 by 1.5 i'll click okay So this is my outer parts. Let's go for the inner contours and see what we have. First inner contour. Uh -huh. Have a diameter by 20, but we don't have a dimension. Let's give it, give it a dimension here from here to here it will be 11 length and the other one will be how much from here to here it will be about 95 so first length is 11 by 20 okay cylindrical as usual okay 11 20 see if 8 let's take if 8 yes okay and 20 and again another count in our count, uh, contour we have it 95 as we said by how much let's check 95 by 30 okay 30 
and click close as you see chef generator identifies that this is the inner contours and do them hidden by itself we have some chamfers to do to our shaft to modify any shaft just click on any part of it it will give you the parameters down just click enter and enter to agree for these parameters and it will take you back to shaft generator dialog box where you can edit or change or do any changes to your shaft we need a chamfer here so we'll take this is the chamfer tool our chamfers will be here all chamfers are two from here and here so I'll go here and click this he gave me the places of the chamfers and give me the chamfers value no, I need 2 by 45 degrees you give me 45 degrees enter and here is my first chamfer the other chamfer will be here again chamfer we'll put it somewhere here Two, forty-five, and we did our other close and here is our chamfer is ready for our shaft I hope you enjoy working with shaft generator it's more easy than draw it by hand in usual AutoCAD otherwise anytime you can have section it's a part here it's identified we can have section of this uh, shaft and we can have views of this shaft etc etc thank you for watching and see you in next video